Top at NTS. We've also been to see Danny at Wigan Bank Parts to go and get the slam panel. And the reason we've got that, actually, that's quite light. Mm. It's quite heavy. The reason we've got that is because the previous owner has chopped it out. They butchered bits to get this aftermarket intercooler in. Hold on, mate. What? We're going stage two on this. So when we change the intercooler, we're going to need to do that as well. Hopefully, the intercooler that we get is specific for the front end of this car because I think you guys will correct me if we're wrong, but I'm pretty sure this is either a Mark IV or a Mark V Golf. All of this is the same, so. So these are the side bits for the jacking points. Right? Yeah, so if you ever see a Cupra, a Leon Cupra Mark II, with the kit on, you'll see that they're missing every single one of them. I know Christmas is finished, but right. there you go. Get oh, thanks, present. mate. His and hers. This is his, obviously. So here at Evil GT, we can't afford to snap on uh, lights. So this is a work light, £16 for two off Amazon. Amazon specials. Bargain, that. Yeah. Metal's metal. You saying aluminium's different? I'm saying aluminium's still a metal, but it's not magnetic. That's how you know it's aluminium. Can you usually. prove it to me? Yeah. Wings in the bonnet. No, you're, pull you're pulling that off like that. It actually wants to stick. Go on, then. <laughs> No, it doesn't. But the door is steel. That's why it's magnetic. All right, Einstein. You learn something new every day, mate. What are you doing with the lights? I'm going to send them to Troop at EM Tuning because he did our RS4 B7 with the laser etched Evil GT. And we're not going to do that because obviously this car is going to be a lot more generic. But he's like, I can put new projectors in, LEDs, the headlights will be mega. There we are. There's the other one. Let's get them boxed up, said to Troop. <laughs> Did you hear that? Water? Yeah. Where the hell is that? There's water in it somewhere. Well, this car has actually got a uh, moisture issue. Has it? The sunroof was wet. Yes, it was. And the front windscreen. We need some sort of dehumidifier, but if you listen. Is it gone? I think it has. I don't Fixed know where it. though. Well done. Obviously I've sorted it, yeah. So the reason we're doing a, a blow over with the paint is there's loads of little bits like that all reacted on the paint and it's all over the place. The roof obviously we had to take the black off. Paint is, is not very good and it gives us a chance to practice our prep work, doesn't it? Say us, you've been well, doing it. this might be the last time we ever do it. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sand the car down. You asked for some pliers. Oh, this oh. wheel's there to get the surface rust off, you know, on the sill. It might be a little bit too coarse then, but I've got them anyway. <laughs> that is the directo rust. Oh, it must work if it's got an L on the end of it. <laughs> and that's for the wing. So when we get the rust off, you put that on and it supposedly converts any remaining rust into the metals, the normal metals. You will absolutely love this little screwdriver thing. Why? I got it purely because you are so lazy. Why am I? Look at how it does this. Good, that, isn't it? What? What's he doing? I don't know. <laughs> Just go around like that. Oh, I want um, I want a different one. 
No you know way. What? So this is gonna grind off the rust. That might be a bit overkill. So what you do is I've got some other bits and you just put it on the end of the drill and it's just like a thing and it goes around like that and it just gets it off. We need these, right? There was a bit in here, in this bit with the screws. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The nuts. Yeah. We couldn't get them off. No. Easy. These are gonna do it. Oh no, they're not. They're just normal spanners. <laughs> what have I bought them for? Well, they're coming on me anyway, won't they? That's what I'm dealing with here, seriously. That's the thing I said, the wheel for the oh, drill. Yeah, yeah. Probably something like that. Yeah. I'll get the surface rust off the sill. Yeah. Total that we spent on Amazon, £250 for all that stuff. That's not bad. Lee's continuing with the bodywork, getting that sanded down. I've taken the door handles off, which didn't actually prove to be that much of a problem. I've taken the rear boot badge out because it's been rattle cam black, it looks terrible. Uh, but there's not really anything else for me to do, to be honest, because there's only one sander. And Lee seems like uh, he's got it all under control, so I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll get off, mate. I'll leave you to it, yeah? I don't want to take credit for all of the car, so you do a bit. And Are you adding up now? No, I want, I want you to take credit for some of it. You've had it off, you? Like prepping of, prepping <laughs> of. This was the bit I wasn't looking forward to the most because the paint's actually gone right down there behind the windscreen and it actually looks to me like the windscreen must have been out at some point to get the paint behind there because there's no way you could have um, sprayed in there and actually got it to key onto this because you can't sand in there. So. This is going to take a couple of hours to do, whereas the whole car with the sander has probably taken a couple of hours to do. Just got to get a little bit more of the black off there. Wings should be here today, maybe tomorrow. Yeah, it's more or less ready to go to the body shop to get painted up. Don't forget the bumpers. Oh, we've got to do the bumpers as well? <laughs> oh, crap. The other side is missing a letter. This is missing the A, the other side is missing the C. So we need to take these off. Take them to your mate. Yeah, Chico, he owns a vinyl and graphics company. So I've already sent him the pictures of it and said they're all stickers. If I take these off, can you make a stencil and make us some new one? So he said, don't stretch it, don't rip it. Not a good start. No. no. So that's the rust off the sill, as much as we can get off. Yeah. This is Directo rust. This acts as primer, undercoat and top coat, but it also sorts the rust out as well. So right or wrong, we're going to put it on. So that's the first coat put on. We'll put a couple more on, just make sure it's done. See what Sean says at the body shop, he's probably wrong though. I just think when you finish it, you'll get a sense of achievement. I will, yeah. We have done this car, well, most of it anyway, apart from the paint, and apart from the wheels, and apart from the seat. Well, probably about 20% of it. <laughs> well, 20% better than nothing, it, right? I'd take a 20% certificate all day long. We have the wings, I finally turned up. These were 256 pound, I think. Delivered, Probably painted. Days. In candy white? Perfect. Well, I presume it's candy well, white. Well, what I did say to Sean at the body shop was, we, yep. were, we needed to wait for these because rather than then repainting something that's been freshly painted, he could use that for his colour, he puts his little machine on and then it reads the colour and tells him to mix his paint with whatever. So, happy days. Full of good ideas, you mate. We've wire brushed it off. Yeah. What's it called? Rusto. Rust, Rusto, repair it. Yeah. It turns, turns rust into metals. Yeah, yeah. That sounds right? good, that, John. It's like a brand new, that now. <laughs> so, Sean, let's go, okay. We've done most of the work for you, right? I'll leave it at that. <laughs> I'm in one of them going, American low down. riders. Keep going. But you don't look any different than when you normally sit on the seat. <laughs> Rude. So we'll come back to that in a few days and then we've just got a little bit of stuff we've got to put all the well you've got to put all the bumpers and stuff back I on. thought the Royal Wii was out then again. Yeah, Are we so not gonna drop be... these off? Oh. First attempt doing the bumpers, what do you reckon? The bumpers are not bad actually. Oh I did then. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> Fucking yeah. glory on 
we'll try that again. We'll come back in a few days and it'll all be painted. We've got some Goodyear Eagle F1 Super Sports. The size is 225 40 18, which is the factory tyre size for the Kufa K1. How much? Where'd you get them from? These were 400 quid and we got from Asda tyres of all places. They literally came the next day. Asda? Asda. Cooper K ones I seen were gloss black. No, no, no. No, I'm pretty sure gloss black. Oh, that's good. That's good at this. <laughs> so thanks to Ryan at Rada International Trafford Park. That's the wheels done. If you want your own wheels refurbished, check them out on Google. Rada International Evil GT10 is the code. Ten percent off. We'll go and see Sean at the body shop. The Cooper's done. We've just got to put it back together, mate. Good luck with that. Everything's going pretty good up to now until we get to the door cards. Now we thought this was probably going to be a 20 minute job but it actually worked out. It more like one and a half hours to do both sides. It's the most difficult door card to put on ever. can see they look amazing troop sorted us out em tuning and rather than even gt in the lens is put k1 because obviously this is a cooper k1 mega we'll do you some nighttime driving as well so you can see what they're like at night you say that every time say that but i won't i asked the lads at mts to just do me the side bolster which is this bit so they put a brand new piece of foam underneath it they were like, oh, you need new this, you need new that, which is right, we do, but let's be honest, it's a 15 year old car. Once this is cleaned up properly and we've hoovered it all and you know, got the shampoo on it and stuff, it'll look mint. So reason why there's tape on the bumper here, we still need to get the clips for the new wings because I'm an idiot and threw the old wings away. We want to get a new grill because the grill was a bit scabby and couldn't really be sorted. That had chicken wire so we need the original K1 grill, so about 90 quid. I've got the fog lights coming, these are a bit scabby so I might get new ones in there. We still need to put the arch linings in and the rubber bit. It sounds mid though, doesn't it? We need to get some spaces up and stay at that offset, that's shocking. We've still got to put the spoiler back on which needs tiger ceiling or however it's put on we'll try and do it a bit neater we've got rid of the original aerial and put a shark fin on bit of an oem plus i think that looks a bit better rubbers oh yeah on. we need to get some new new door rubbers because they were like um they look like the ocean didn't they it was quite windy we also have ordered well i say ordered we've asked danny at wigan bag parts for a silver one he's yeah. got one and they 15 yeah, quid yeah. good lad nice then one then it'll match the exhaust it will no one's still smoking still need to get the replacement skirts because the ones we've got the fixtures underneath are broken off so it won't fix back in so we're We've still got, looking for them. We are, yeah. Driver's, uh, passenger side is fine. We need to get a driver's side one with the tabs. We might have to fix the one we've got. Who knows? Still needs quite a bit, but as you can see, it's looking really, really good. Part four, we're going to start tuning it. So the idea is to try and get 400 horsepower. We've spoken to TTE, who've, um, they're going to help us with a TTE 480. Uh, even though it doesn't need four, a 480 for 400 horsepower, they say it's the better turbo to do 400 horsepower with this car. Still got to pay for it. Don't think we're getting it for free, but intercooler racing line intake racing line and the tuning is from oem plus so for those who watch the rs4 get tuned the b7 ben wardle who tuned that he's going to be tuning this as well still haven't said how much all this has cost the paint the wheels everything there's loads so in part four there's a reason to subscribe to the channel we're going to have a whiteboard we'll put all the prices on but i can tell you that we've already near enough doubled what we paid three and a half grand so we've got maybe a couple of grand left after the turbo hopefully nothing else goes wrong with it and the engine's okay part four the engine needs to be okay to tune it